with Mr. Roy Davis, one of the owners of Barberry Spur. A lot of people like Barberry Spur. He gets ready to go now in the finals. What impresses you most about this two-year-old? Well, I think he's just now coming into his own, and he's a, a late foal, and um, he's big and strong, Colt, and uh, I, you know, I think it's just going to be tough to beat him, to tell you the truth, because it's just it's a case where bigger is always better, and he's just big, long-going Colt, and uh, I think he's got an excellent chance to win it all. You mentioned big and strong, and I think that has been one of the reasons he has been successful late in the season. He does seem to be coming on, grooming himself for a three-year-old campaign. That's right, and uh, as I said, he all along, we knew he was a good Colt, and I think, you know, a lot of... We owe it to Dick Stillings for doing a good job bringing him along. I think if I had my way, I might have rushed him a little bit more than Dick did. And now he's sound, 100% sound. And, and, and I think he just, we gave him a week off, and, and then he's come along and do real good. And I, you know, I look for him to win it. No worries about two races in one night then for this big no, horse. No, because usually uh, after any heat, one race, the uh, time we get back to the pack, he's completely uh, at ease and not breathing hard. And just so he's in excellent shape. We've never gone two heats with him, but that's really not one of our worries at all. Winner of this Breeders' Crown, you think, will be the divisional champ? Uh, I think there's no question about it. Barbary Spur wins it. He's the two-year-old pace of the year. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Davis. Good luck. Thank you. Mr. Roy Davis, one of the co-owners of Barbary Spur. Sharon?